Welcome along to our first video tutorial in Autodesk Revit where we are going to be creating house plans this term so we'll be designing our own um, houses, apartments and things like that. In our first tutorial today we are going to be creating this one bedroom apartment. Okay, it's quite a simple house plan but it's going to show us some of the basic skills to get started in Revit. Okay now for a slightly better look at this apartment so you get an idea of what's going on I'll just pop over to my 3D view so you can see what's happening. Now you've got to imagine this apartment is actually inside an apartment complex. Okay so there'd be other apartments attached to either side of it. Okay and we've just got some views out the back section of the apartment so that's why I've got a little balcony or a back deck here. If we look through these sliding doors we've got the lounge room looking into the dining room and then into the kitchen. Okay, can't actually get inside the house for a good look at the moment, just in this view, so I'll just show you from the outside. Over on the left here, we've got the main bedroom, so there's a bed, a chair, and a lamp in there. And if we look through this right window, it is hard to tell from this angle, but we've got two doors here, which lead into the walk-in robe and the bathroom. There's a bit of storage down the hallway there as well. Okay, if I do a quick fly around of this apartment, as I said, there's no windows, because this would be attached to other apartments in the complex. We've just got a front door. Okay, so that is our one bedroom apartment that we're going to be creating in today's video. So I'll just close off my example and let's get started on our own. So to begin with, you want to just go to an architectural template when this screen pops up. We're always going to start with an architectural template. And what that brings up is basically a blank document with a few little things on the page here. These little circles you can see with the arrow on the end are camera views representing north, south, east, and west. Okay, and you'll see where they come in um, handy a little bit later on when it shows us different views of our house. Okay, don't worry about these lines in the middle here. We're just going to draw up in this section over here. Now to zoom in on your page, you just simply scroll on your mouse. So scroll up to zoom in, scroll down to zoom out. And to move your page around, Hold the mouse wheel down and you can move it around. Okay, so I want you to position the north, east and west camera angles pretty much in the center of your page like so. We're going to be drawing in this empty space just here. Okay, now to get started on our one bedroom apartment, the first thing we need to add in is some walls. So we're going to start with the exterior walls. Okay, so to do that at the top, you've got a ribbon. Okay, and in the architecture tab, I want you to select the wall option. From wall, I want you to come down here where it says basic wall and change that to brick veneer 250 timber. Alright, once you've chosen that wall, I want you to set its height. Change it from 8000 mil, which is way too big, and set it to 2700 mil. That's about 2.7 meters in height. I also want you to change this location line here and I want you to have the finish face set to exterior. Alright, so we're now ready to start drawing our walls. Just before we do that though, I do want to head down to my project browser, which is this area just down here on the left. And I want you to find the elevation section. From the elevation section, I just want you to double click on the east view. So I'm going to get the east camera up. And we're just going to change the height of level 1 here. So that's basically going to be our roof to 2700, the same height as our walls. Okay, so we're going to start building on the ground and build up 2700 mil. Alright, so in the tab here you can just close that east view off now. Go back and select your wall from your architecture tab at the top and you can start drawing the walls of your house in. Now we're going to draw from right to left. Now that's going to ensure that the bricks are on the outside of our wall and just our plain normal walls on the inside of the house. So I'm going to start about here, click once and then just drag to the left. Your mouse cursor follows you and this is the first wall for our apartment. Now it only needs to be 7800 mil in size so I want you to type in 7800 and press enter. Then I want you to go straight up, okay you can see the next wall is connected to that. I want you to go straight up 9,700 and press enter. Okay, you'll come back across 7,800 and then go straight down 9,700 again and enclose that shape 
So you're left with a little rectangle like so. When you're done, press Escape twice, or simply grab your Modify um, arrow from here in your ribbon, and just click and drag over the top of that to select it, and just put it in the center of the page there. Scroll on your mouse to zoom in on it, so you can fill your page with your new walls. Now we want to just double check that those bricks ended up on the outside of our apartment and not on the inside. So the way we do that, there's two ways we can do it. The quick way is just go up to the view menu at the top here, go to 3D views and select the 3D, oh sorry, the default 3D view. And that's just going to give you a preview of your apartment in 3D. If you zoom in, you can see the bricks on the outside and on the inside we've just got plain walls. Alright, so that's looking good. We'll leave this 3D tab open because we're going to be referring to it in 3D quite a bit just to see some of the changes we've made. If you'd like to see this 3D view in a bit more detail as well, down the bottom here you've got this little cube. Okay, If you click on that you can change it to realistic and that will colour it in for you. Okay, So now you can see that those bricks are definitely on the outside of our apartment. Okay, And if you want, hit this little checker box here and choose fine as well. And that just shows it in the highest detail possible. Going back to the ground floor view, I might do the same thing down here. I'm going to select fine. Okay, so you can see a little bit more detail in our plan now. And I'm also going to choose realistic, which will add a bit of color to it. And also show us that our bricks are on the outside, walls are on the inside. Alright, so things are looking good so far. That's our exterior um, walls all sorted out. The next thing we want to do is get the interior walls done. Alright. So the way we do that is we go back up to Architecture and we select the wall option again. But this time we're not going to be using brick veneer walls on the inside of our house. Okay, so I want you to click on that drop down box, scroll down and simply select Stud Timber 70 for our internal walls. Now from here what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing probably the bedroom walls first of all. Okay, so the bedroom goes in the top right hand corner up here. Now the bedroom is going to be roughly 3,000 width and 4,800 height, I suppose, or length. Okay, so from this corner at the top here, I want you to move across to the left. I might just have to move this a bit. As you can see me moving to the left, I've got a guide above me there showing me how far I'm coming across. Okay, so I want to come across about 3,000. There we go. And we're going to click our mouse pretty much on this center point just here. So that dark gray area would be a good spot to be clicking. That way our internal walls will connect to our external walls. So we're going to come down about 4800. Okay, again using my guides to do this. And then I'm going to go in, oh, we'll say about, let's only go in about 500 there, like so. And we'll press escape. Okay, this is going to be our bedroom as well as our walk-in robe area. Okay, so that's looking all right for now. We'll just leave it like that, but you can see that our internal walls now are connected to our external walls. And if I go to my 3D view for a quick preview, there's that wall going in. So this is going to be our bedroom over here. We've got our living room over here. Alrighty, so let's go back to the ground floor tab and we'll keep adding some more walls in. Now the next wall we might add in, let's do the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen is another easy one which goes down in the left hand corner here. So hover over one of these corners and I want you to come up 2000. Okay, it's not a very big kitchen but we'll come up about 2000 mil and try and click on that grey line, remember, right in the centre there. So let me just come back up again 2000. Click on that grey line and then drag out to the right. And we're going to go across about 3,000. Click, and then come straight back down to the grey line and connect it all up. Press escape twice, and you'll see now we've got our kitchen walls connected. If we go to the 3D view, you can see our kitchen is just sitting nicely in over here on the bottom left. Okay, so we've got a kitchen area, living area, and a bedroom sorted. Alrighty, so zooming back out now, next thing we might get drawn is our walk-in robe and our bathroom over here. Okay, so let's grab our walls again. And we're going to hover over this corner. We're going to come in about 1600. Let's see if our guides will help us there. Not quite. 
So I'll show you how to get around this. So you can see my guide at the moment is only going to 1500. That's fine. We'll just click there and we'll put our line in at 1500. We'll go up about 2900, just to about there. And then we'll just connect it up over on the right hand side like so. It's going to be our bathroom. Now it's not quite as wide as I wanted it to be, so I'm going to press escape a few times and get my modifier tool. And I'm just going to click on this line here. Okay, now you can push it out simply by clicking on this number here. You can type 1600 and press enter. And that makes that space from the right hand side of the house over to this left hand side here, which is our end wall for our bathroom, 1600 millimeters. Okay, so we've now got our bathroom space drawn in. Now coming off that bathroom, we've got our walk-in robe that goes up here as well. So just grabbing my wall tool again. The walk-in robe's about 1600 high. So, oops. so you've got to be careful here when you start this. You're clicking on the corner there. And we're going to go up pretty much level with this line here. Okay, so it's just over 1600 on mine, which is fine. Click once, and then go straight across and connect it over here to the exterior wall. Okay, so we've now got a walk-in robe just here. All right, one other thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna draw another line that comes from this point. Whoops, sorry, I have to go from the inside point. Come down to about there. Come across, so we'll only go across about 500, same as that other one above it, like so. Sorry to confuse you there, but that's just going to give us a bit of space for our walk-in robe there. Okay, we have a bit of storage in this space if we want to. Alright, so that should be most of our internal walls done. Let me have a look. We've got our bedroom, living room, dining area, kitchen, walk-in robe, bathroom. Might make a bit of a hallway just here as well, so it might just put one last wall in. Um, so this wall, we'll make it level with this one here. And we'll bring it up. Oh, let's go about a thousand up. Like that. Okay, so that way we've got a little bit of a hallway up here. We've got some space for storage here. We'll have our main entrance or our door just here. All right. So that's looking pretty good. The last thing I want to do in this part of the tutorial is just put the front door on. Okay, there's only going to be one door in our house at this stage. Okay, so let's just do the doors and I'll finish this video up. So I'll just save what I've got first of all. So hit the save disk at the top. Okay, in your graphics folder, it's probably best to make a new folder. And we'll call it one bedroom apartment. And in that folder, give it a file name as well. One bedroom apartment would be a good name for it. Click save. Okay, and let's just put this door in and we'll finish up this video. So to put a door in, let's go to our architecture tab at the top and select the door option. And from the door option, we've got a few different sizes you can pick. Generally, I'd stick with the 0813 2134. Okay, but because we're doing the front door, I'm going to Pick the biggest door possible. Okay, so select the bottom one from your list. And zooming in on this bottom section, I'm going to put my door here so it swings inwards. Okay, and I want it to be about two th uh, sorry, 200 mil from the wall. So the door jam, as they call it, is 200 mil. Press escape when you're done. So you can see here we've got a door. And this arc is showing what way the door swings in. Okay, so this door is opened on the left-hand side and swings in, moving to the right. Alrighty, so that is our door. If we go to the 3D view now, you can see we've got a door just here on the front of our apartment. Looking in over the top there, you can see all the walls we put in before. It's got the hallway up to the walk-in robe, the bathroom, bedroom living room, kitchen. Okay, you can use a little cube up here to get better views of this. So there's the top view. Okay, you can hit the little arrows to swing it around. There's our, whoop, there's our front view. You get the idea. 
I'm holding shift to move this around. I think I forgot to tell you that earlier on. Hold shift and then use your mouse wheel held down at the same time to move around like so. Okay, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Now going back to our ground floor view, which is basically our 2D view, we can throw a couple more doors in if you would like, which is probably a good idea. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back up to my architecture tab and select the doors, and I'm going to change it to the smaller doors now. So the 0813 by 2134 single flush door. Now you want to have a door leading into the bathroom. Okay, you do want a bit of privacy in there. So remember our bathroom is down here. So zooming in a bit down there, I'm going to stick the door over here. Now you can see the door's probably facing the wrong way. So if you press spacebar, it will flip the door around. So each time you press spacebar, it flips the object around. Okay, now we want the door to have a 200mm door jam and then you can click it into place. So you can see, when I click on this door, we've got the 200mm door jam, which is that little gap behind the door. It swings open, pretty much goes against the wall there. And that leads into our bathroom. Okay, if you want, you could put a door on your walk-in robe. I think in my example I had one there, but I actually might leave that off. I'm just going to cut out an arcway to go into my walk-in robe a bit later on. Um, that will probably do us for doors for the time being. We are going to put some sliding doors out the back when we get our uh, deck built, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Alright, so there are all the doors that we're going to include in our design. So I'm going to save that up. We're hitting the save disk at the top. And I will come back and start on some new sections in the next video.